Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Recently there are a lot of questions about the Canon EOS 450D and the Canon EOS 600D and about using these two cameras for deep sky astrophotography. And if you're looking for one of these cameras for astrophotography but still you're not sure which one is the best for you, then this video will be really really helpful to you because in this video I would like to compare these different cameras. I will not talk about features that are important for daylight photography such as image stabilization or autofocus, but in this video I would like to talk about features that are important for deep sky astrophotography. So as you can see right there, there are different aspects that are important when planning to use a DSLR camera for astrophotography. And in this video, I would like to compare these different cameras and in the end, I would like to talk about which camera is the best of these two cameras. But before we start, I would like to mention that this video is not sponsored and I'm not being paid for it. So all products shown in this video will be purchased by myself and the opinions about these different products, so about these cameras, are my own. But now let's get started. When planning to buy a DSLR camera for astrophotography, one of the most important aspects is the sensor that is built inside this camera. Therefore, I would like to talk about the sensor at first. Both cameras do have an APS-C sensor. For me personally, an APS-C sensor is quite good for deep sky astrophotography because when using an APS-C sensor, you will have a crop factor of 1.6. Therefore, in my opinion, APS-C sensors are quite good, especially when planning to use it for deep sky astrophotography because um, I'm usually planning to capture a smaller objects such as galaxies, and in this case, having more magnification is quite good to reveal structures in these very small um, objects. For sure, you have to keep in mind that full frame sensors do have less noise, which is a great aspect uh, of using full frame sensor for deep sky astrophotography, but in this case, both cameras do have uh, an APS-C sensor. As you can see, the size of these two cameras is the same. But there's definitely a difference when talking about the megapixels both cameras have. In this case, the Canon EOS 450D does have 12.2 megapixels and the Canon EOS 600D 80 megapixels. Megapixels are quite important in astrophotography because we're using lenses or telescopes and usually the stars are not that good in the corners and edges. Therefore, we usually crop our images in post-processing. And therefore, having more megapixels is quite important because then you will lose less details when cropping your image. Therefore, in this case, the sensor of the Canon EOS 2000D is a bit better because you do have more megapixels and in general, the Canon EOS 600D is a bit newer. Something that you have to keep in mind is that there is a difference when it comes to the pixel size. Um, larger pixels means that it's better for low light, so the low light performance is better. Both cameras do have an APS-C sensor, but the Canon EOS 450D does have less megapixels, which means that the Canon EOS 450D does have larger pixels. Therefore, usually you can say that uh, the low light performance is better, but there's a difference because the Canon EOS 600D is newer and the Canon EOS 450D is rather older. Therefore, it's difficult to compare these different cameras because sensors are changing and sensor technology is developing. Therefore, I've captured test images with these two cameras and I've realized that the Canon EOS 600D does have less noise compared to the Canon EOS 450D. Therefore, the Canon EOS 600D is better for deep sky astrophotography when talking about um, the sensor that is built in these two different cameras. The next aspect is the ISO value. When using the Canon EOS 450D, um, the ISO range is between 100 and 1600, and when using the Canon EOS 600D, um, the range is between 100 and 6400. The ISO value is quite important because the ISO value helps us to uh, increase the brightness of our images and therefore when using the Canon EOS 600D you can use a higher ISO value which, which is quite helpful for astrophotography and on the other side um, the ISO performance of uh, the Canon EOS 600D is definitely a bit better. The next aspect I would like to talk about is manual mode. Manual mode is a very important and necessary aspect or feature when planning to use a DSLR camera for astrophotography. Because when your camera has manual mode, you can select the exposure time, the aperture, and the ISO value. And that's very important in astrophotography. In this case, both cameras can do so. The next aspect is the live view mode. Live view mode is a very helpful and, in my case, necessary um, feature that every camera should have when planning to use it for deep sky astrophotography. In astrophotography, it's very important that our telescope or our lens is in focus in order to achieve perfect sharpness in our final results. Therefore, achieving perfect focus is very important and having a, a live view mode is, in this case, very helpful because when using live view mode, you can see on display what your camera is seeing or capturing right now. And that is a very important aspect in order to achieve perfect uh, sharpness and perfect focus 
in your final results. The next aspect is RAW. It's very important that your camera can capture images in RAW. In astrophotography, we are usually stacking our different images in order to bring out even more details, in order to reduce noise in our final results. I'm personally using Deep Sky Stacker for stacking these images, but there are other programs as well. And in this case, it's very important that your images were captured in RAW. So you can only stack images when they were captured in RAW. So it's very important that your camera can do so. And on the other side, RAW is very important because um, it helps you in post-processing. So when the images is, were captured in RAW, it's easier for you to process these images and it's easier for you to bring out even more structures in your final results. Another aspect that is necessary is a connection for remote shutter release cable. When not having a connection for remote shutter release cable, you need to press on your camera in order to take an image. But when pressing on your camera, your entire setup will move and therefore your images will not be that sharp and therefore the connection for remote shutter release cable is a very important aspect and is something that you should definitely look for when planning to use a DSLR camera for deep sky astrophotography. The next aspect is a flip screen. I've started with a Canon EOS 2000D in deep sky astrophotography and after that I've upgraded to a Canon EOS 600D and the Canon EOS 2000D does not have a flip screen but the Canon EOS 600D does have. And for me using the flip screen for the very first time was very helpful. It's very helpful for focusing and in this case there is a difference. So the Canon EOS 450D does not have a flip screen but the Canon EOS 600D does have a flip screen. In this case the Canon EOS 600D is definitely better if you would like to use it for deep sky astrophotography because it makes focusing very easy and uh, it's definitely helpful for astrophotography. Bulb mode is important because it helps you to use longer exposure time, so more than 30 seconds, which is necessary for deep sky astrophotography. If you're planning to use your camera for astrophotography without a tracking mount, it's not that necessary because the exposure time needs to be shorter and therefore uh, 30 seconds of total exposure time, so if maximum total exposure time is quite good. The next aspect I would like to talk about is the maximum exposure time. In this case, it's the same, so the maximum exposure time of 30 seconds. Um, another aspect is the release date, and there's a big difference. So the Canon EOS 450D uh, was released in 2008, and the Canon EOS 600D in 2011. So the Canon EOS 450D is definitely older, for sure. The Canon EOS 600D on the other side is not new as well, but the Canon EOS uh, 450 is definitely older compared to the Canon EOS 600D. Something about how heavy these cameras are is an important aspect because a lot of people are using their DSLR cameras in combination with uh, a star checker, for example. In this case, it's very important that your your lens or your telescope or your camera is not that heavy because then your yeah, tracking will be better. In this case, the difference is not that big. But there is definitely a difference when talking about the price. I've bought both cameras used. I bought the Canon EOS 600D used for around 120 years and the Canon EOS 450D for around 50 years. So there's definitely a difference when talking about the price. Both cameras are definitely affordable, not that expensive, which means that both cameras are great if you're planning to get started into deep sky as geophotography. Now to my final opinion, when comparing these different informations, you can see right now, um, and when looking at the display and the built-in sensor and the release date of both cameras and the sensor technology, you can definitely say that the Canon EOS 600D is better. As I have already mentioned, the Canon EOS 600D is better in low light, so the low light performance is better. It does have less noise, which is an important aspect in astrophotography. Therefore, when comparing these different cameras, I would definitely go for the Canon EOS 600D. It is more expensive, but the difference is not that big. And still, it's a very affordable camera. It does have better sensor. Um, it does have uh, a flip screen, which is a very important and for me necessary feature when using DSLR cameras for astrophotography. photography. I'm personally using a Canon EOS 2000D as well. If you are interested in this camera and in the differences between the Canon EOS 450D, the Canon EOS 600D and the Canon EOS uh, 2000D, I've already made a video about these cameras. So I will link the video right there. But if you're planning to buy one of these different cameras, I would definitely recommend buying the Canon EOS 600D because it's better in low light. And for me personally, it's better for deep sky astrophotography. As I have already mentioned in the beginning of this video, this video is not sponsored and not being paid for it. And all products shown in this video were purchased by myself and the opinions about these cameras are my own. If you have any further questions about using the Canon EOS 450D, the Canon EOS 600D or the Canon EOS 2000D, feel free to ask me down below in the comments. And just in case you have any questions about using DSLR cameras in general for astrophotography, feel free to ask me down below in the comments too. 
If this guide and this video was helpful to you, I would really, really appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching, and until next time, clear skies, Felix.